There are two sides to every story. But if you want to hire great talent for your business, there's just one way to do it. You need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a powerful hiring tool that can help you do it all. We streamline hiring with powerful tools that find you matched candidates. This is Indeed. This is what they do. Um, and with Insta Match, over 80% of employers get qualified candidates whose resumes on Indeed match their job description. And the moment they sponsor a job, according to Indeed, Data US. I've used Indeed before. It is amazing. They really do find you candidates that fit your job description and have the skill sets that you need. And I'm talking about tons of candidates that makes your hiring process so much easier. We get <clears throat> Indeed gets you one step closer to hiring by immediately matching you with quality candidates. And Indeed does all the hard work for you. Indeed shows you the candidates whose resume on Indeed fits your description immediately after you post so you can hire faster. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Just go to Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. And support the show by saying you heard it about you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to his thing. I'm getting on stage. She's chick angel. Welcome to another podcast bangers, episode. Bangers, smash bangers, that like bangers, button. Smash bangers, that notification bow, button. Bow, bow, bow. Bangers, 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 all 2023. Bangers, 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 just for you. Baby Yodes is hiding this painting that I got. I want to show you guys. I got this from. On the Twitter. I didn't even know I was in here with her until I was in here for almost two hours. You looked over and you saw her? I said, what you doing here, girl? Yeah. She said I was just getting dressed. Shout out to, I believe, the artist's name is OG Infinity, I believe. That's uh, how every woman wishes her waistline appeared. Mm -hmm. It's not the case. Kevin, I think you got some lint on the right side. <coughs> there you go. Lint hating on your boy. Uh, before we begin, Church let's wish a very happy 30th oh, birthday it. to Joshy yeah. God. Oh, a happy it. birthday. Happy birthday to you. May you find Jesus, Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. And the best one you ever had. Wow. I've never heard this. That's song. my that's, that's my old Bethlehem Temple oh. Church birthday song. I was like, Wait a minute. I don't know yeah, where we're going. You picked it up though, cause you know him. <laughs> I know. Josh got 30 years on God's That's green earth. a long time, man. The devil tried to take you out of here you at 28. Why, why, lesions you all over your body. I didn't have at 29, no, you didn't have head, no legs. I was but you God gave him back. Did he? 30 years. I was hoping he got me, so I guess. <laughs> I know Josh, he's, when he turned 21, that was the first birthday I knew of Josh. 21. Joshie. And That's he was crazy. drinking beers before that. And I didn't want to say Josh. nothing because I, like, I love his mom. It was community. It was a little bit of communion. Oh, it was communion. No. They, had, uh, they had Bud Light for communion mm -hmm. in uh, at the Catholic Church. Is that, that what they do? Yeah, they did. All right. Like cervecita. Church announcements. Uh, Miami this weekend. Thursday. I'm sorry. Friday and Saturday, the Palm Beach show was canceled. The club closed down. I had nothing to do with that. Literally. They literally texted me. It was like, your show is canceled. I was like, what? We knew before the public knew that the club yeah. was closed. <laughs> so Palm Beach people pull up to Miami. Uh, we'll be off the weekend after that, and then I'll be in Austin, Texas. Boom, boom. To close out the month, Ball Brothers tour. Yeah, we got Louisville. The, huh? We got Louisville too. Well, that's July. Oh, but isn't Ball Brothers after? Yeah. Oh, Louisville too. Louisville, 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 Louisville. Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. Ball Brothers, New York is about to sell out, and I think Dallas and Charlotte will be next. I mean, sorry, New York, Chicago, Dallas, and Charlotte. Uh, the only cities that you have plenty of time is in Phoenix and Cleveland. Plenty of seats. Y'all can mean. come after the show <laughs> in those cities. Angel, what you got? The Is This Gonna Cause an Argument tour kicks off this Sunday, June the 11th Ooh. in Hollywood. Hey! hey! We are, uh, we sold out VIP. We have done really good ticket sale-wise. Huh? So excited Who about it. Who told you? Listen. Who you, was scared? 
Me. And who told you not to be? You said be scared. No, that, I didn't. No, I said do it. I, no, I didn't say be scared. I said, Angel, you're going to do well. No, you did. But you said okay. being scared means you care. Oh, I did say that. Tell yeah, me, yeah. I wasn't me. trying to say it like you okay. said it at Shade. Um, uh, uh, and guess what? We're going to be right beside uh, the Pride Village because the parade happens right before our okay. show. Okay. And Pride Village is right next door. <laughs> so you're going to be inside. able to get a show inside of a show. Wow. So come on out. Just no parking's gonna be terrible. That sounds like a two for one ticket. It is. Listen, get there I, really early. <laughs> I am excited. If you got VIP, we'll see you there at four thirty for the meet and greet. Okay. <laughs> and new single out. Oh, new single streaming on all platforms. New single out. One margarita, aka the margarita song. Turn me up in the headphones, guru. Hey, by the end of the week, we'll have. I think a million streams on Spotify. Oh my God. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's booming. The song it's is a like, million streams, a million streams on Spotify. It, we are number 14. We then went back up to number 14 on all hip hop songs from the U S on iTunes. Your girl is a certified rapper out here. In fact, period. I know we said Prosecco for my birthday, but I was like, who am I to stop a, the movement on, on a, on a song? Ah, uh, that's trendy, you know, friend of the pod, Terramana. Did you play Margarita Mix? You know, a little fresh, have a, a little fresh like Elvis, you That's know? a friend of the pod. The, the, the way the rock talks he, he commented, he's like, you know what? Here's a bottle. Uh, buy it at Ralph's because I, I had a pay for price for it. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's the rock, man. I we got to have a margarita for Josh's Listen, birthday. Listen, I'm not going to have that. Right. <laughs> I'm going to have a living water because Sister Sydney released a diss track to Angel. She just, tagged me. She did? Yes, she tagged me. <laughs> you and Sister Cindy got beef? <laughs> no, it's not real beef because she also, like, when she she put a video up of me first that said another one's bites the dust. It had dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and it was just a picture of me, right? And I this com- is crazy. And I commented, I said, Sister Cindy, I can't wait for your song. And then she put, you know what? I love the videos you do with your family. They are so nice. Lord. That's what she put underneath there. And then she tagged me for this new song. It's a beef by herself. I'm, I don't know. No, beef. Angel, you need a diss track back. Yeah, 24 hours to respond. This is Sister Cindy's diss track to Angel. She found uh, Lakita Moore type beats. <laughs> Drink four margaritas. She like it, Janae Aiko. Drink four margaritas and your heart's stone cold. Drink five pat, margaritas. Pat, pat. You've been told. Drink five margaritas. Now you lost your soul. Now you lost your soul. Drink one living water. Cause Jesus came. Drink two living waters. What a change. Drink three living water. And break the whole chain. Break the whole chain. The whole the whole revolution is beginning. H-E-U-X. H-E-U-X. So for licenses. <laughs> Drink five living water. Hoes born again. Hoes born again. Slay life's game. Hey. Slay life's game. Oh no mo revolution. Oh no mo revolution. <laughs> she sells it. merch. I almost bought her shirts, but then yeah. she dropped the diss track, and I can't support her. I can't. I can't support her if she dropped the diss. <laughs> I want to oh, get her. No, more <laughs> that's the part this. of age I'm not looking for when my vocal cords have atrophied. <laughs> oh no, more revolution! <laughs> that's that arthritis in the Why vocal. Run it yes. back, Josh. Who's the engineer? <laughs> Let her get one in full voice. Oh <laughs> no, more revolution! It was so like, like she was sitting on top of a dryer. I to hold her neck to hold, hold it in up. place. Now you're it's everything flopping I need around. To live you. Let me hold you right here. <laughs> ah, no, no more revolution. Not no she ain't more. strong enough to lead the revolution. <laughs> she gotta pass it on to her baby. That vocal cords ain't get no. fight. One margarita. Yeah, Sister Cindy, she came out here with. I mean, she didn't take too long, which I appreciated. Uh, no. But she definitely, if she, you look she, at the look at the uh, the the whatever the description of the video, it is at. That chick angel is in there. She was like, "You gonna see this," and I love it. And I think I re uh, I reposted it <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, I was like, "Go ahead, Sister Cindy." But you know, apparently, uh, my song has been 
uh, honored. It has been titled as the song of the summer. By some prophetesses. By, oh, it's uh, the song of the summer, Angel. By Lizzo. Oh, yeah. Lizzo be Lizzo. Lizzo shook all that ass to my song, and I was so excited. I said, well, I'm about to do the music video and some Yetis. I'm just going to Listen. In it. Hit in her it, up. In it. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I've had several meetings with record labels, you know. We're going to see what happens, guys. Sign a deal with Pep with Pebbles. Pep? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she going to get you a ride for her. Uh, uh-huh. That's exactly what's going on. I'm going to be broker than when I started off. I'll be like, how'd I lose my house? That was going to be like, I'm back. <laughs> When you signed the record deal, we took your house and your children. Wait, wait. Mark will be like, mama. She got five margaritas. <laughs> but yeah, the song is literally taken off. So praise God for it. That's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, the last man. time we were in this office is when that song was created. Listen, and y'all y'all going to respect my friend Angel. By the way, I did an a interview with uh, X Mayo, who's in The Blackening and in Twarm, and she sang your praises. Aww. I told her you were more talented than me, and she thought I was being like, derogatory towards myself uh-huh. and i was like no i i i see what i work with her <laughs> I, <laughs> see her very i awesome. see her i'm all i can assess talent and i'm i'm really good at assessing talent i know when people are more talented than i am <sighs> I, and i'd be like you be on my team and then we went together <laughs> I, I, my team. I don't have to be the best team, tony baker's team. a better comedian than <sighs> pat grows hair better than me you so here's freckles i mean everybody got something on okay but we <laughs> went together we the championships championships all right Let's kick it off. Now, we done started this on Patreon where you should join us at the Patreon. Mm-hmm. I, I started. I said, you know what? Let me see what the Patreon people want to talk about. Now, let me tell y'all something y'all y'all going to love, but y'all but we probably not going to do as much as y'all want. Y'all be suggesting documentaries like oh, nobody Jesus. Well, y'all just want me I to mean, just the... four and five episodes of an hour. This said, one's but, only 18 episodes. Y'all, an hour and a half each. We already got to watch all the Love is Blind and, and all yes. the Bailey's and Married at First Sight. Perfect Listen. match just came out. Dog, I can't sit here and watch hours of content every week. Give It'd us be, like a hot 30, 45. If it's more than an episode, I, probably not. Or, or tell when, us the episode to watch. And they be dark. But they said the Curious Case of Natalia Gray. I said, what's that? I turned it on. They said, this, is she a little person or an adult? They adopted her. They said she was a kid. Turns out she was an evil woman. I said, man, what? <laughs> no, no. They was like, Kev, turn on the Duggars. I said, okay, what's on the Duggars? A whole family of sexual abuse and oh, the, the cult. Duggars. Church were the, a sexual yeah, it was all, I said, man, hey. I remember the Duggars. They were sexually abused. That woman had like 12 kids out of that uterus. I said, wow. man, I can't. I, wow. Y'all, we just watched the whole Hillsong documentary. It took everything in me to finish all four oh episodes. Oh, my goodness. That was my entire Kentucky vacation. Listen, my family was like, are you coming upstairs? It. I was like. <laughs> y'all, just suggest articles, things that we could catch up on in five, ten minutes, uh-huh. not four or five hours. We on summer break. Y'all, we yes. on summer break. Oh, she had 19 so anyways, years. She, but she I do want to. She had 19. Uh, so I want to shout out the people. Now, some of these, I'm just shouting out the person that I screenshot. A lot of these, somebody, more than one person. But Michelle said, Michelle R said, I'd love to hear y'all's perspective on comments Damson Idris made about tapping into the dark forces for his role as Franklin Saint in Snowfall. Now, I hadn't heard that. Um, I hadn't that, heard. Uh-huh. It was in that round table interview. Yeah, so I watched the round table. Now, let me, before we get to Damson, that baby who played Jeffrey Dahmer, he needs a break. That man tapped into some darkness. He is sad. He was on the office. Remember Michael's nephew, Luke? Vaguely. Michael's nephew, Luke, who got smacked. He, he brought the bad coffee and he got spanked in the office. Oh, yeah. He was also in that X-Men movie. He was Quicksilver. Yeah. And he was all idea. light and uh-huh. fun. He played Jeffrey Dahmer. His name is Evan Peters. He, play, he played Jeffrey Dahmer. That's a rough go at it. Josh, that boy got sadness behind his eyes now. We should bring him to the pod. No. He always okay. looks sad. He we, always looked dead behind sure. his eyes. I just though. was trying to be a good friend. We got to let him air out a little bit. We got to get some Jesus on him. him the- Love on him from a distance. <laughs> he needs to be loved on, though. Uh, but Damson Idris said this on the round table, and I had to, I had to screenshot it for myself because I didn't believe it at first. Um, yeah. Ten ep- sometime we do 10 episodes for my show, and in this last season, um, I was hitting a block, right? I, I was like, oh, I'm not doing it right, right? So I went in the corner, and then I was looking at the wall, and I was like, come on, devil, come on, devil, right? C- come to me, like, come to me, because I had to do something, like, crazy, right? Had nightmares for a month. So it does you come to it or after? after. Like, I had nightmares every day. Like, I just felt, I felt that energy. Oh, interesting. You know, and I had to 
pray and do all this stuff to like get rid of it and you know you call your mom up and you're like bring me back to life and <laughs> that stuff is real let me tell you what, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't care if I never win an Emmy, an Oscar, another NAACP image award. I'm not calling on the devil to help me act. This is the thing is, I know <laughs> people who seem devilish enough that I ain't got to call on the devil. I'd be like, what did my daddy used to act like? Remember, remember, what he act like? That's what I'm not, ain't no role that important to me that I'm like, I've got to give it more. Mm -mm. I've got to give it, I'm not giving what nah jesus you think you call on the devil for lori oh only only god can deliver beautiful black women to you like that. <laughs> i was saying I, i'm like where does she stand does she know this i i don't know josh but let me tell you what i thought this i saw this article when i was researching it and i was like he probably I, maybe he paraphrased and i turned this article i i was watching i said damson Damn, Listen. damn, you damned yourself, what son. Is you, what are you? What are you saying to me? <laughs> Franklin Saints is a fictional character. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no. I think we as artists get a little bit crazy in thinking they. Uh, Yes, you're like. Don't put you. me with y'all. Yeah, come on. I you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Let's, you put that yeah. evil on me. Let, literally that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Yeah, we as artists get a little crazy and take our craft a little too serious, and <laughs> then be like, we've got to figure out how. I bet you, I don't. I bet you, I memorize the lines after we actually shoot it. Angel <laughs> I won't even. Care. One thousand. Also, Rick Ross, who the the show is based on, is alive. Yeah. Call Rick. Freeway, Rick Freeway, Ricky, Wa Ricky Ross. Come on, you got it. He lives in Breeze. <laughs> He's he, a, he came to my personal home and did an interview. He knows really well. He knew really. Ricky Ross did. Uh huh. I know. I, I hit his line. He on the gram. Yeah. You didn't call Satan, Franklin Saint. Ten. In? Is you a saint or is you Satan? You're either Saint in or out. Come on, born sinner. J. Cole. The opposite of a winner. Jesus Christ is what? the winner. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying all of it. Yeah, I don't. There's there. I really can't think of a role that I would want to give that much in. Give that much. That means that much. He did a fantastic job. He I, absolutely the devil did. helped him. I, I will go back to work at PacSun working 40 hours a week. <laughs> Folding them shirts. First of all, the devil was an artist. He was the musician. Mm -hmm. He the first artist. Mm -hmm. And he he was so good, God was like, get out of heaven. He so you know the row. beat slapped on the the devil on the beat three. He probably was nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He probably was nice. So he was like, I got you some, but you it's the devil always gonna take a little bit more. Don't ask him for stuff. I have uh, have to fight panic attacks without the help of the <laughs> devil. Okay? He does not need uh, to be involved so to think to have the devil be assisting me in anything i'm just gonna live in a panic attack i am going to literally die but luckily i have policy genius that i use to get life insurance so my family will be set if that were to happen listen it's so important to get life insurance um because truly when you have people that depend on you that um your income is a part of how they actually live if you were to leave this earth suddenly, that would shake their world in ways that would be hard to recoup, not just uh, financially, but emotionally as well. So if you can take care of one of those things while you're here on this earth, why wouldn't you? If you have a family like I do, you know how much your loved one depends on you. And in the worst case scenario, they wouldn't want to have to, you wouldn't want them to have to worry about money. A good life insurance policy can help give you peace of mind that something happens to you. If something happens to you, your family will have a safety net to cover mortgage payments, college costs, and other expenses. So you can get them back on their feet and focus on what's most important. Already have insurance or coverage through work. Employer-sponsored life insurance may not offer enough protection for your family needs. And it won't follow you if you leave your job. Let me tell you from personal experience, it's super satisfying to check life insurance off your to-do list and get covered. <clears throat> uh, and getting coverage can be more satisfying when you use Policy Genius. That is absolutely the case. It, I remember when I was shooting my pilot last year, I was sitting in Oregon and it all hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, I'm out here by myself. If something happens to me, what would my kids have to do? Me and my husband work together. So mm -hmm. his job tip really can't be done without me being in existence that's true 
Um, and uh, it right then and there is when I uh, went on to Policy Genius's website and got the process started for me and him to get life insurance. Because trust and believe, if something happens to him, majority of my jobs are difficult to do without him. Um, and Policy Genius made it super duper easy. We were able to um, give them our information. We did a quick um, medical examination because of the amount of coverage we needed. And then we were approved and we are now covered. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 per month for a million dollars of coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as a week and, unvo and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius has licensed agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone who has people who depends on them. They simplify the process of getting life insurance so you can protect the people you love. There's no added fees and your personal details are private. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your loved ones deserve a financial fit safety net. You deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head to policygenius.com or click the link to in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com. Dot com. Listen, <clears throat> I want to tell Damson why, why I, I, I'm going to tell you, I'm not even telling Damson. I'm just saying to, to, to the people of the world. I didn't remember bloody Mary say that in the mirror. Hey, hey, sh no. y'all remember that? No. You say it three, well, five. five times. No. Was it bloody believe. Mary? No, I was saved, so I don't know what you're talking about. I knew about. about that. I couldn't do it. I don't think it was Bloody Mary. I think there it was, was something else that I heard. Candyman. Candyman and then something else. All I said was not called on the name of Jesus all the time. Jesus, Jesus, At Jesus. the center of his name. Jesus. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. I never gonna call on nothing. Like I, I, there's so many different types of actors, right? There's some method actors like Daniel Day Lewis who go in and like never break character. And Jamie Foxx, when he was Ray, he had his eyes closed for 16 hours because he wanted to feel the blindness. And then there's actors who play their role, and when they cut, they be chopping it up, right? I don't think as an artist, and I'm blessed, you know. Yeah, I'm blessed. By the way, check out Charlie Wilson's Tiny Desk. Oh, my oh, God. Great time. Oh. Jarrell Quinn, friend of the pod, is singing background with Char Charlie Wilson. But uh, what's on at the airport? Yeah. Oh, Jarrell's in the background. Yeah, right. and, you, and his he, mic is on. He, he, oh, Jarrell! Yeah. Uh, and Charlie's Quinn, saying, uh, can I get to the yams? Sweet yam. I forgot where I was going with this. But, oh, yeah, I was saying um, <laughs> there's a lot of other artists who just do the role, and but they not, like, enveloped in the role. Mm -hmm. Like Heath Ledger talked about the dark places he went to, and the Patreon was saying that Evan Peters played some dark characters in American Horror Story as well. I don't watch that show. I don't like scary things. Uh, but then there's people like me who's just like, I want to make fun stuff. We smile. We have a good time. Workplace comedy. You know what I'm saying? Real comedy. You know, like, I don't. And as an actor, I'm okay never taking a role that makes me feel like in order to get to that place, I need to call on dark forces. Because what if dark forces don't know you cut? Well, this is the thing. This is when you know people don't have folk they got to take care of after this after the work day those are the people that are like i'm gonna stay in character until the end of the movie these are the people who have the money to have people take care of their kids let me tell you who can't show up to pick up their kids from school it, it, i can't show up as satan and pick up <laughs> my children <laughs> give me a more I can't do that. Angel is the only one on your the Your name list. is Angel already. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, turns, she, she turns into the dark night. Where is he? Yes. <laughs> They're going to be like, ma'am, we're calling the people. No, I'm working on a movie. And I can't. I can't have a They'll be like, we you don't know, care. Dumb, you look in the real world. Like, nigga, what are you doing? What be is, for real. Not hide, the, hide the kids. Why She's you back. Do? She's doing the thing no. again. I brought cupcakes for the teacher. Like, they're going to be like, we're sending you away. <laughs> Amar is with us for forever. For Angel yeah. never fully seen the dark night because it was too dark. She's like literally lighting us. She's doing a great impersonation. <laughs> I just want to say one more time since we're on the subject. The most unbelievable thing about that movie was Batman was trying to die for Maggie Gyllenhaal. Oh, it's no. I'm so glad my husband isn't here no. because he is so disrespectful when it I comes to that woman. Can't, I was like, call him, call him on the phone. No, I said Bruce. Now Bruce, I'll be editing crazy. Now <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> you have to cut the whole thing out. I give you a lot of stuff. I'll buy you that a billionaire got a bat suit on 
He knew jiu-jitsu. He get his back broken, and he did push-ups to heal himself, <laughs> climbed out of a pit. But Maggie Gyllenhaal, Marcus boy. watches the movie you. like this. <laughs> when she's on the screen. And she's a great actress. Like, no disrespect. Is she? But death worthy, boy. He really, like, every time. Big lunch lady. Yeah, he's like, now come on now. Bruce. <laughs> how much, you, imagine, how much, what is it's called, suspending reality. Yeah. How much you want me to suspend? The joke would have been like, you can say her, and she's at Avenue X, and him, and he's here. Him, him. I'm saving Harvey <laughs> so I can retire. <laughs> I would have I would have saved her by mistake. Where's the Joker at? You God dang it! He tricked me again. But what? Switch him back. We, I need Harvey. There's so many things we can believe. We can believe this man put together a leather suit and gives a bat. We can believe that this man who is psychotic decided to do his face as a uh, as a clown to kill people. But what we can't believe is that this mediocre white lady is worth life and death. We're like, that's it. Y'all imagination is and too wild. It's too much. <laughs> and I, I like wrestling. Like, I buy it. And wrestlers finish their episode and do a podcast. And I'd be like, but when they're in that ring, <laughs> Roman Reigns and the Usos finna fight. But leading lunch lady? Mm -hmm. <laughs> lunch lady? She just, got big. You want more potatoes? Yeah, I, I don't know why they did that. And this is not, I'm not trying to talk about this woman looks like that. I don't think that uh, you could cast me as a, this is who he's going to die for. First of all, I no. have box braids. I already know. Nobody puts their life on the line for somebody with box braids. Niggas do. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they, they do. They find another box braid girl. <laughs> They'd be like, I'll die for some box braids. <laughs> Listen, I had box braids. I'd be like, black man. <laughs> you dying I'm throwing... for y'all's y'all. You dying for y'all's connection. That's what I'm saying. Talk, but, but like, oh, I'm just so attracted to her that I want to save her life. Box braids? Nah. <laughs> She's. Mm -mm. And Katie Holmes was the first girl in the in the Batman Begins. It's the same. Katie Holmes is uh, Tom Cruise. Old... I know who she is. Yeah, but they look. Nah, she, come on now. She ain't everything, but she's no, more than lunch lady. She's, she's at least school secretary. She looks like she just came out of the sun a little bit earlier. She don't. Do you Stop look? It. Pull up, Maggie. I know exactly what both of them look like. You know what's crazy? I've met one in her face. Katie Holmes. I ain't saying she's fine. You know how. No, and what I'm saying is, is that the degrees of separation ain't that far. They don't make, they put like this, they not grabbing the finest of fine, like ain't stereotypical. That, first of all, ain't that many. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. There's about three that Stop. I'll give you. Hey, hey. I don't, I'm going to say it every time. Just <laughs> wait, wait for the bonus. Save for the bonus. Nah. Okay, anyway, I'll save for the bonus. Save for the bonus. Because y'all always get mad at me. What I'm saying is. No, no, no. Is, you, when we leave, you're like, okay, maybe you should. Maybe you should I'm looking for uh, King Panda said, Kathy, uh, Katie pulled Jamie Foxx. People have preferences, and some people. Listen. As, listen. Respectfully. Some people have preferences. Respectfully. Yeah, everything look, respectfully. Yes. Everything respectfully. Oh, that's the name what of the episode. Saying, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, none of these chicks that are usually the love interest for these uh, superheroes are like, I ain't never been with a buddy. They're not. They're not that. <laughs> There, you got one margarita and you start to slide. Oh, oh no more <laughs> revolution. <laughs> oh, no more. All right, next thing. <laughs> this comes from... <laughs> Takana Sug said, I really just want to hear the joke on Patreon. Patreon producers, shout out to y'all. I want to talk. I want y'all to talk about Papa Joe falling again. Jesus. It's so, it pisses me off. Let all. me tell you, I Angel, I be so he never looks like he knows where to go. <laughs> Every time Joe Biden is supposed to go somewhere, they always ushering him. They say this. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> Joe, right here. It's like me playing first person games. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Don't watch your head now, Hey, then. hey, hey. He got back up. This way, sir. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to run again. Joe, can you walk? You can't walk, <laughs> right? When he fell, I got, you know, my, when my kids hurt themselves, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not the nicest mommy. I get mad. Lord. When they, when they fall, I be like, get, get up. Now, that's what I felt like. Get up, Joe. <laughs> Joseph, 
I, and it was just such a big like fall. It was like he, he looked. It was so big. He looked so weak. It is, it is a shame that that's how I felt because people should be allowed to trip over themselves and fall. But when he when he couldn't get out of that bike and he fell in front of all those people, I was like, that was your one time. You can't, you can't do fall. it again. Listen, man, to lead the country, you can't be falling. You can't be falling. I feel like that's the only the only rule we really have. We don't have high standards in this American culture. Can he walk? Okay, let's let's see let's see how we do. My God! But he's just like I mean, at least Trump could walk, and that's what people are going to. That's why they they're like walk for Trump. <laughs> that's what they're going to say. <laughs> Joe, you <laughs> messing it up. <laughs> you are messing it up. It pisses me off every <laughs> time. And falling is like a big deal in the old community, like old folks. Yes. You they know, break hips. They, they break like, hips. Takes them all the way out. And I wonder, this is what we're seeing in public. How many times that he fallen? Gonna be, he done <laughs> fell down that over office a thousand times. I'm like, how often is he falling when no when we can't see? <laughs> I'm like, did somebody tie his laces together? What is going on? He got, like Joe's over there. Oh. He gotta be upstairs and everybody working downstairs. All of a sudden they just hear. <laughs> right there. Well, there goes Joe again. There goes Joe. Stop falling, man. I hope. Listen, my mother. This is a shame. Uh oh. She does um, wheelchair assistance at the airport. Why is that a shame? Because she can walk just. Let them people push me. So it, she's flexing on everybody that can't. And so th this is also so she can board. First, she's like, I'm not, I'm not standing in the long 1, line. One thousand percent. She's like, if I didn't get first class, I'm, I'm doing wheelchairs. <laughs> I don't get first class. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. Take me. Uh, so she had to give up her exit row privileges because of it. It's like, hey, you get down here in this wheelchair. <laughs> Either or, you, you know, gonna have, you can't have both. So I wonder if he has wheelchair assist when we're not watching on Air Force One on everything. When they take the helicopter to put him into the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. Oh, my God. He's just so terrible. He I, don't look strong. He don't. And I, I wonder, do they have him working out? He should be working out. Like, he was on that bike, but was that just for show? And that's how he couldn't get his feet out? First of all, I think it's stupid. I know there are people who, who do bike riding as a workout. I think it's stupid to have clip-in shoes on the bike. I hate it. It's just like, what are you going? I would have fallen, too. If my shoes were clip-in. I'm gonna the, be the, uh, Peloton shoes. That was the worst part about it. Oh yeah, getting I, I'm like I I'm gonna break it. my Some ankle. Just leave them in the. They just take the shoes off. Yeah, off the bike. But my thing is, that's a stationary bike. Oh, so yeah. there's little chance I'm gonna fall off on a bike that goes on the road. And your feet mm -hmm. are not clipped in. No, I think his were. That's what they said. That's why he fell. Oh. But I, as a forty-something-year-old woman, would have fallen too, though. Listen, Angel. You have to be at least 35 to be president, correct? I think yeah. he's 35 and married, 35. naturalized citizen. Cap it to. <laughs> cap it. Cap it at 32? No, no, cap, cap it as it. well. No, no, don't go to no further. You can't be. Joe Joe Biden is, what, 79 right now? Like, he's supposed to be falling. It's not even like falling is okay at your age. We thank God for grace. Yeah. He's 80 years old. Okay. 80 year olds be falling. He could have a baby. Doesn't end that. What's his face? Who? Robert De Niro, ain't he up there too? I think he's 80. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, and Pacino put a baby in somebody too. Is that who? Yeah, Both of 80, them? 82, 83. 83. That's, yeah, wow. so that's, I'd rather him do it. Put a baby in somebody. Talk to somebody and do your yeah, business. Well, I'd be like, somebody, go, let him get you pregnant so he can sit down and not be president. 83 year old. Yeah. And his baby, his girlfriend is 29. And the fact that she loves him, for, boy, I know that. He, he showed her Carlito's way. He, <laughs> Didn't he though? Didn't he though? That thing probably comes out like an old Dotson. <laughs> <laughs> it probably hurt. Probably to bust a nut at 83, it probably. You're oh, definitely yeah. cramping. You're cramping. <laughs> everything, everything is exiting. <laughs> it's not just going to be the nut. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Everything is coming out. Tears, he shit. He fart a little bit. Piss. No, not fart. There's Dookie back there. He's there doodle, is baby. poop coming out. There is blood coming out. Everything is exited. Exit all. Oh, everybody abort. 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 <laughs> yeah, ain't no way. It's just gonna be nuts. Everything is getting up out of there. 
It's not yes, everything. Me. You'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> so sorry about that. Milk is coming out of his nipples. It's about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Every fluid imaginable is coming out. Lord. Oh, coming out. That's something. how the song One goes. Of things is going to be a ba- make a baby, but the rest is just going to be nasty. Yeah. Lord. I just, I, you know, I don't want to not respect Joe. I voted for him and there's a good chance I'm going to vote for him again. But I just, I don't know. I need him to like get on some ritual. Okay. Mm -hmm. He needs to get on his ritual vitamins as well as he needs to get some of that symbiotic plus because his his gut is probably, he could probably got all types of gut things going on. And that's that's why he failed. His gut was like, I ain't got the right environment. The right bacteria ain't up in here. Well, sometimes your gut tells you to call your ex, right? Your ex-boyfriend, your ex-boo, your ex-babe. Well, let me tell you what. Symbiotic Plus, they can't help you with that. It can't help you stop making <laughs> bad choices, okay? But if your gut is telling you that you need a little support, Ritual has your back. Um, so I am on a journey of trying to really be intentional about how I'm elevating my health. So y'all know I, I've been working out. Um, I also have been in the in the process or trying to create the ritual of taking supplements that will aid in me staying healthy. Well, Symbiotic Plus is one of those. Um, it's a daily three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic with the world's most clinically studied probiotic strains to support the relief of mild and occasional digestive comforts like bloating, gas, and diarrhea. So what <clears throat> the whole reason why you would want to be able to do a probiotic, prebiotic, and postbiotic is that you're trying to create the best environment in your gut, in your intestines for your health there's so many things that happen inside of our intestines that are directly relinked to our actual physical health that if you can create a better environment you're also going to be helping yourself out in totality not just your digestive system so it's a win-win and um, because it's a delayed release capsule, the capsule actually makes it to where it's supposed to go in order for you to absorb most of that prebiotic, postbiotic and um, probiotic. Because a lot of times these other companies, they make stuff that dissolves in your stomach lining and then that's all waste. It didn't help you none. What you going <laughs> to do with that? Nothing. <laughs> Um, and then also it tastes great. It's like a little single nested minty capsule and it doesn't need any refrigeration. So you can take it with you wherever you go. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate, not hide your insides. It's time to listen to your gut. Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first month, first three months, excuse me. Visit ritual.com slash crew with a K. Crew with a K. To start Ritual or add Symbiotic Plus to your subscription today and so after you and after you didn't uh, got your probiotics prebiotics and got your gut health all good now we got to make sure you're eating good and you can do that with hello fresh you can get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipe, recipes delivered right to your doorstep skip trips to the grocery store and count on hello fresh to make home cooking easy fun and affordable yeah get farm to table quality with every hello fresh box hello fresh seasonal ingredients are picked at peak rightness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days for fresh flavor in every bite and hello fresh market has new snacks meals and more to add on on to your weekly orders like their fun s'mores bundles for kids and hello fresh is your recipe for success from foolproof instructions and high quality proteins and veggies hello fresh brings your inner chef with every tasty easy to prepare meal the Tanksleys love HelloFresh. We just got our box this Sunday. What I actually love to do is I let the boys look at all the menu cards and uh, recipe cards, and I allow them to pick what we're having for dinner. And um, each one of them helps me at some point in time during the week with cooking. It, so it's a really fun family activity. It's very quick. And I know my kids are eating fresh food. Love HelloFresh. Could not recommend it more. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK16. SK16. Use code SK16. SK16. For 16 free meals plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK16. SK16. Use code SK16. SK16. For 16 free meals plus free shipping. It's HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right. Next topic comes from 
Patreon producer Sarah Lee Phillips. Mm. I, want, I saw a story on Twitter about a mom who went to a park with her child. There was a birthday party going on. Her child joined with playing with the other kids. When it's time for cake, the child naturally lined up, and the mom said, you can't have any. Here is the video. TikToker, famous TikToker, Kat Stickler is the mom, uh, and I follow her. It's crazy uh, for a totally different reason, though. But check it out. Mom shames. Only people. Also, I want to say crap. I hate this voice Only filter. Oh, I'm like over it. I hate this voice filter on TikTok so much that I was watching. The, I watched this on mute, but I want y'all to hear her voice. I just hate it. But anyway, here's the story. I'm gonna mom shames. Only people I've ever mom shamed are myself and my own mother. But one other mom is going to be added to the list because what the? F Actually, am I? This is a question. Am I entitled or was this messed up? Two hours ago, literally right now, MK and I were at the park in my neighborhood, and it was us and this birthday group, right? So. Literally just us and this birthday group. These kids are having their birthday party. And he's playing them for like, what, half an hour? They're making friends. It was nice. It was actually very cute. Time to sing happy birthday. MK goes over. She's one of the group right now, all right? They're welcoming her with open arms. Or so I thought. I was wrong. Time to eat cake. I see MK. I see her intention of grabbing a piece of cake. So I, like, walk over to make sure it's okay. As a formality. Honestly, I was like, obviously it's okay. It's cake. It's a massive cake. There's lots of leftover pieces. The mother... Kicks the plate away from MK and gets down to her level, says, You cannot eat this cake, okay? This is not your birthday party. These are not your friends. Where's your mother? Angel, your mother. I would love to hear your thoughts first. I mean, I see both sides. Like, if I didn't, if it's some random child that's just enjoying the shit I didn't pay for, I'd be like, Where is your mama? Who is you? Uh, also, at the same time, if I had a bunch of leftover cake at a park, I would probably be asking other mothers who weren't in the party, would your child like some cake? Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> there might have been a little bit of because the mom, the mom that is all riled up in the video, be, if she didn't uh, introduce herself from the top and say, hey, my child is just seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. If you want her to not play along, I can remove her. But if she's let her child just be a part of all this the entire time and ain't said shit, yeah, I'll eventually be like, I'm sorry. Why, what do you think we doing here? Th this is not what we doing. I am so sorry. But if she thinks at the very end, she's just going to be like, hey, yeah, so my daughter would like some cake. <laughs> Kids, that was very entitled, very, very. And when I spend money, that's when all my that's all I will set parameters. I but I also wouldn't have been more than likely I would not have been stingy with the cake. But I would have said something from the jump. Whose baby is this? <laughs> Whose white child is Whose this? Whose child is hey, this? Hey, hey. This is from the caucus. This child's from the caucus mouth. Right. Whose baby? Whose Who, white baby is this? Right. Like I don't understand why this is happening. So I mean. I, I I do think that lady is entitled, especially if she didn't say anything from the jump when her daughter started joining along in all the birthday activities. They probably mm -hmm. playing games and stuff. And these birthday parties for these kids be expensive, even at the park. Even at the you gotta rent that little t that structure. Yeah, you gotta reserve it down at the park. Yeah, that I, cake wasn't free. But I would have definitely at the end if I had leftover cake. I would have been more than likely asking parents of kids that were not in the party, hey, we have cake. These are the ingredients in the cake. Would you like your child to have a piece of cake? Yeah. But I wouldn't let nobody's child just come over thinking they're going to assume they're going to get some cake. Get your little <laughs> ass up out of here. You know that tick? This is one of the times I wish I cussed out loud. There's a TikTok noise from Franklin, from uh, the Devil's Boy Show, uh -huh. Snowfall, where uh, Jerome's like, get the F out of here, little nigga. <laughs> Take that dumb stuff with you. <laughs> and it's people using it to their kids when they bring yes. them the toys up there, like, get out of here, little nigga. Get out of here. But let me tell you what I would do. As the father of the child, if this is my baby, don't go, get out of them people's party. We don't know them. Exactly. My baby won't ever be over there. Exactly. With, uh, uh. Come here. No, nope, we got cake at home. Exactly. I, I just wouldn't feel comfortable. Now, if the people, if my son wandered over, mm -hmm. and it's people, I, I honestly, I can't imagine me being in that position because mm -hmm. I would be like, we don't know those people. I don't know who cooked it. Yeah, there could have been exactly. cats on exactly. the table. So as the parent, now if my baby's like walking over, I'm like, oh come on. They're like, no, he can come. He can come. Then I'm gonna be like, are you sure? You don't mind? We ain't got to do nothing like that. Uh, okay, that's one thing. Um, as the father of the birthday, let that little baby come. We got cake. I'm not tripping. 
And at, although it's funny, the thought of getting down on eye level with the child after you let them play with your kids for 30 minutes and be like, give me this game. What the, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you These are not, not your friends. This is not your party. Yeah. Why do you think you deserve cake? Because you played here for 30 minutes with these kids? <laughs> That's what's wrong with y'all. You think that play equals cake. Where's your mom at? Yeah. We, we didn't like you, actually. We never liked you. We just let you over here because you look lost. Now you want cake, too? Like, there's no way I'm bending down to a baby and telling them, oh, for one slice of cake, you know it's sheet cake. I'm sure it the was. The kid's not going to eat it. You're not Like you said, you're going to either give it away or take it home like there's no circumstance where i'm going to talk crazy to a child i would have said is it okay if your baby has some cake because i don't know their allergies or you know whatever especially in la that baby could be allergic to spoons yeah for all i know but um and also <clears throat> if you don't know those people and the people talk crazy to your baby you can't be surprised because you don't know those people. <laughs> you don't know these people and you ain't had no conversation with the people. Yeah, she never said I talked to the mom and cleared it. She never she just said let she that talked to the mama at all. Right. This is why I don't be throwing parties at parks because that is what little kids do. Because mm -hmm. my no children would. Amar, when he we drive by the park and he sees a bouncy, bouncy house, he's like, I want to go in there. <laughs> I'm in. I want to why, go inside of why there. Why are we not invited there today? Yes, he <laughs> automatically thinks he's supposed to be inside of it because it exists. Yes. So I get why the child, because it's a child who wants to have fun. And obviously the mother just brought the child to the playground with no friend to play with. <laughs> just let him wander everywhere. <laughs> right. Uh, but I've had like when we throw parties uh, for our kids, a lot of times we use indoor places. And now that I have a, access to a little bit more money, I try to get like the private rooms. Yeah. But even then, little kids be trying to wander in there. Now I will be like, no, no. Yeah. Y'all, this is not y'all's room. Yeah. Get on out. Because I know these kids, they're going to go right for that pizza. <laughs> they're going to be going for the drinks. They're going to be going for the goodie bags. And these places be charging 40, 50, 70, a for Kai and Sai's birthday party, it was $75 per child. That's a wedding price. Per key. child? Per child. And one of my friends had the nerve to be like, oh, you know what? We going to bring such and such. And I was like, and bring, bring that 75. 75. Bring that 75. Like, I don't know that nigga. That, that was that baby. Was they like, brought it to your party. I was like, huh. It was, a, it was a curious situation, so I allowed it. But I was just like, huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Y'all just going to spend my money. All right. Wasn't it predetermined, though? As if you bring extra children. Oh, then they just add on. Yeah. Oh, got Yeah. It. And got so it. I was trying to stay within the package For price. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> you was a mama. I had 15 children. <laughs> right. That was the little stompers package. Now, you want to you wanna get me into 17, that's big stompers. That's I, I, didn't, that's but I didn't budget for big stompers. Now, stomp. also, let me say this. If that was my baby, and they wandered over and played, and they asked for cake, and you took it from my child, and talked crazy to them like that, I'm going to talk crazy to you now. I wish you would with an earshot of me. Now, if you have a problem <laughs> with my child, hey, can you come over here? You tell me. I'll tell them. I'm not going to let you snatch. And I feel like it was a snatch. She didn't say that. But if it's my child, even if you took it gently, you snatched it. And you told my kid, these ain't your friends. Okay, now we got beef. Because yeah. why are you talking to my baby like that? Is you crazy? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you either say that up front Either up front, hey, get out of here, or you're all welcome. To welcome them in to play and then push them for cake is like, now, if you didn't have enough cake, you should have been like, actually, this is kind of full. It's a private party. There's also a lesson in that, children. Everything you want, you don't get. Oh, yeah. That child <laughs> learned that day. These are This is an example of two mothers that are poor communicators because there ain't. <laughs> and possibly, impossibly, that mama had wanted that baby not to be there, but the dad was probably like, uh, the dad of the birthday parent was, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine, Carol. Don't worry about it. But the, the cake is where she drew the line. She was like, God damn it. <laughs> We're not. I told my mom and my dad I was going to bring them the extra cake home. <laughs> And Aunt Cheryl, and she's taking the cake. Right. I draw the line there, Fletcher. I draw the line. Hey, hey, little child, you cannot have this cake. You don't even know these kids. What's the name of the birthday girl? Because when we sang the song, you just said, happy birthday, dear Smear Smear. Her name is not Smear Smear. Her name is Sarah. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? I hate you. What the hell is wrong with you? 
on the bush that baby. <laughs> They're poor communicates because I do. I'm quick to be like, uh uh-uh, uh, whose child? Well, if you, as the mom, the, that stupid filter, and also I hate it the most when people do a vlog as their dog of their dog's day with that filter oh. on. Oh. I want to throw my phone in a something. I love the same. I hate it. I don't like you vlogging as the dog anyway. No. Let the dog tell me what he how his day went. That dog probably Just, cussing him out. Yes. But as the mom, you kind of crazy for being mad because you don't know these people. She's like, am I entitled? Yes. Yes. Look at your skin. Start there. <laughs> you know she's Hispanic. Look at your skin. She is a, Yes. <laughs> Look at your skin. Start with the assumption. I'm more than likely feel, being privileged right now. So you take what you can get. <laughs> you don't expect nothing. Yes. Just start there. And, the crazy and thing then is, work your way back. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Next up on the docket. Uh, but by the way, this TikToker, hilarious. Is she, she impersonates her her Hispanic mother all the time. Oh, I want to follow her. I mean, her name is um, Kat Stickler. I thought she was a white woman, but yeah, she passes as white. Yeah, but her her mom and her mom be in the video sometimes hysterical. So when this actually when I saw this on Patreon, I was like, well, this is crazy. And then they linked this, and I was like, oh, wait a second, it's you. And she didn't have that accent on. She went full white voice. She didn't yeah. do that Hispanic. And I- <laughs> Am I being privileged? Yes, As girl. a black parent, I don't think I would ever, this would not happen to me for many reasons, but I would have never expect somebody who I don't know to give my child or me something. Mm-hmm. That ain't how we roll. But I also, as a black person, we tend to be very given, I, I believe. Um, so anyway. I've, I've dealt with the the other way around where white folk are like, this is, it's fine. It's Absolutely. Fine. But for me, I'm usually still like, nah, we good. Yeah. And actually you're right. I, I would be, white people be letting the kids play together. Yeah. So I would have been surprised, mm. but at the same time, you don't know them folks. So what, exactly. you can't expect I'd nothing. Like, Who got lice? This is just a lot of things that I've got to figure out before we just start doing everything together. <laughs> This is Sade Patreon said, as a former black child, I was told don't go nowhere begging. Absolutely. That would oh, embarrass yeah. me. Yeah. We got cake at home. No, what we don't. You but you just pretend like we got cake 1, at home. <laughs> All right. So this uh this topic, let me see. I got my docket's all out of order today. Uh where is it? This video, I, I posted this video on my Instagram. Oh, that tea was so good. Uh where is the video? I'm, Hold on, y'all. Mm. You can find it. I my believe do- in you. My doc, it's all out of whack. It's all upside down and, and backwards. Upside Why are you trying to find it, Josh? What does it feel like to be 30? Oh, Oof. I found it. But I do want to hear this. This was the first time where I'm like, oh, I'm, this is like adult adulthood now. I, I feel like I'm, I'm in it. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not just the bills. It's, it's like these, this is the decade where, uh, my dad had me. Oh, and I was uh, like, uh-huh. so I mean, like uh-huh. everything's kind of like not humanizing, uh, mortalizing, crystallizing something. Uh-huh. Are you every- feeling pressure to be like, oh, I've got to do adult stuff? Yeah, I, I mean, you have the house. I, yeah, that's a big adult. Yeah, that's, that's huge. But you are you feeling the other stuff. like I need to start a family? I need to get married. I need to, my, my career. Like those are usually the things yeah. upon every decade. It's where am I in my family? Yeah, my career, my dreams, my goals. How am I lining up with yeah. where I thought my life would that's, be? That's what I was thinking about more last night because it took me like two hours to fall asleep last night. I laid in bed from like normally I go to bed before uh, we should a podcast like this. I'll do uh, like ten o'clock. I'll be asleep by ten thirty the latest. Uh huh. I was up till like. 12 15 12 30 just which staring at the ceiling late, that late but it's like if i gotta wake up early that's late for me yeah but i was just thinking and it wasn't even like anxious thoughts it was just like oh snap this is like that this is that chapter yeah and uh yeah it's definitely career it's definitely like uh like god willing this is the decade that i start a family oh Woo, we love oh! to hear it um, god willing you know we love so to hear it. uh so yeah i just been i've been i've been thinking about that a lot the past uh 12 hours i should say. also know your journey is your journey yeah your pace is your pace some people have children four children and they have their fourth 39 mm. give 38 or take. 39 yeah, yeah. give so, or take some, sometimes you roll the dice and twins come you know and you still have more and then sometimes you become a hit rapper at 42 <laughs> come you, on you just never know you really don't <laughs> you just you have never a million know. streams on spotify with which all jokes aside is insane Yes, I wow. and, and it ain't counting. been out but like a week. 
I need you to understand that I realize. I wish they do they. I wish they counted all the time it been used on TikTok. Because I have seen probably they, no less than seventy, and I watch them all the way through. Thank you. You gonna get your stuff. And the craziest thing about your song, and this is why I went out to a million, is the the black community. We were on it early. Oh yeah, that came I seen white folks hours. with dreads. People are using it just as sounds, not even dancing to it. And that's where I'm like, oh, it's crossed over. It oh crossed yeah, over. the Waihites. They have taken took that song. Oh, they love it. They actually started it. You made it black and cool, and they took it, snatched that, it right that, back. That's what happens every they time. They took there's a the trend. cake away from that baby. It <laughs> said, <laughs> "You can't have it." Talking to me, it has uh, one version because they have the longer version and the shorter version yeah. on TikTok. One version has last time I checked had like over thirteen thousand videos. 13,000 that, that use the song and that was like four days ago so I have no idea what the foolishness is Dang, right now what the foolishness is going on I don't know what the faith but I am so proud I mean Josh you are such a responsible 30 year old especially when I think of 30 year olds today Mm -hmm. the, the the median of 30 year olds you're super duper responsible I'm so excited to see what I mean, now you seem like a young thirty-year-old compared to me, and Kevin. Yeah, you seem like a we young hip spry. <laughs> <laughs> Not spry. You do, we just we started them families and their marriage early, but yeah. he also grew up in LA industry. Yeah, it's, it's He's, different. It's very different. Yeah, yeah. that's facts. Because yeah, like people even, don't start um, families when they're chasing their careers my friends, here. The same age as me back home are on baby two. Yeah, you know, which is like that's just. <clears throat> That's just what you do in the suburbs. One thousand. It's pretty much what everybody does in the mm -hmm. world outside of like here in New York. Right. Got like you. if you're not chasing that career in like specifically this industry where having a child really hinders what you can do, unless you have the means to like, like we were talking about earlier, I can go to work and somebody can take care of my kids. Yeah. Auditions and stuff. That it'd be impossible. Or all these work hours. Where, where, my, where my baby finna go? Listen, I was just telling Josh my trip home to Kentucky. What made this one so like different and kind of weird but it's still in a good way is this is my first time going home for the graduation of my peers children right i was like wait i'm going to my friend's kids yes. graduations kids that i saw in the hospital their first day of mm. life and they are go like that is you, mind you know what blows my mind that you're about to have one of them my baby, your baby that looks like you. big Wazer. First of all, we hired him uh -huh. to shoot social media content. Great for us. editor, he's fantastic. Good job. Second of all, I can't, I can't lose the thought that this is his last summer. Uh huh. Where at the end he goes back to high school. Now he more than likely will go to college, but going to college and going to high school is very different. Yeah. Right. He they stay home. They go. They hang out. I told him about himself. We went and saw Across the Spider Verse, which I wish we could talk about. Oh man, it's I outstanding! Can't wait to see I, it, man. I know Angel ain't seen it. Yeah, we'll go outside. Yeah, we'll talk outside. But then he went with his friends, right? And I told him now, when you when we watch a family movie together, first you go see with your friends. Uh -huh. But if you watch with your friends first, then when time to go to family, you ain't as interested. Uh -huh. He was like, we saw Puss in Boots twice, and I was like, you're right. But the fact that my baby, man, who I climbed up on top and did my business, wow. and now he got hair. Glasses, thoughts, hopes, dreams, funny, sarcastic. Drip. 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 Abs. And now he gonna be going across the stage? I said, my child. I going can't wait the stage? to watch how bad you and Melissa cry. Oh, Angel, my God. Wait. There is not enough water in my body. <laughs> I can't wait. I am going to I, I will cry right now. <laughs> I'll sure. give you a I remember when he first left. Uh, I to, will cry right now. I, I, it was I a threat. Won't, <laughs> if I think about this for three minutes straight, this is I will cry right now. When he went to kindergarten and he wasn't scared, he's like, "All right, bye." He wasn't like pushing us away. He's like, oh, "I'm good." And plus, Julian was in his class. He's like, "Okay," and I was like, "You're not scared?" He was like, "No, yeah. I'm excited." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> you don't get no cake, you <laughs> have no cake for you." But no, you're absolutely right. Like my son, M Monique's son. And my sister-in-law, Tammy's son, Julian, Mariah, and Isaiah, all same grade, same age. Uh -huh. um, but no, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry enough to end California's drought, personally. They're going to be like, we had a drought, but it's somebody's uh, Somebody son graduated. Uh, if I cried into a reservoir, there will be high tide in the Pacific Ocean. Listen, little Marcus graduates from eighth grade on Friday. 
He might as well be going off to the war. Active duty. Gay. They're not going to be able to hear the, any of the names read after Mar my, <laughs> little Marcus because she's just going to be screaming crying. These lashes will be at my chin. That's where they're just going to slowly morph down to. This is what Angel's going to hear when little Marcus graduated. <laughs> graduated. It's... it's <laughs> yes, that's exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? that's, I'm not going to do oh, it. Baby. And that's what I'm going to be. I just can't even. Oh my god! I'm not. I'm not going to be well. He knows this, and I'm. I'm so grateful that he knows. I rub his cheeks still, and it pisses me off because they're not as soft as they used to be. Oh, yeah. Trying to get let coarse. Me, let me tell you what. This uh, is. We don't have no ads, do we? No, I did them all. Okay. No, we didn't. But I don't know if one was supposed to be in the next slot or he not. He put it as three. I, I know. So, so that's why I'm going to let it run. If it's three, it, it, it goes in the second spot. That's what, okay. That's what okay. I put. I was messing with my, I was wrestling JoJo yesterday. Threw that shoulder out. He's in you? summer. He's in summer break, right? So I'm wrestling with him. And I catch up, you know. I said, oh. <laughs> oh, you smell it. I said, hey, you took a shower today? He's like, yeah. I said, you put deodorant on? And he said, no. I said, why? He said, well, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. I said, you doing something. Something's happening. You humming. Right. You, you, just because you ain't doing nothing, because you ain't going nowhere, don't it, mean you can't. Right. Because we, we, we in here too. Right. So did you hit that back? Hit that one more gear. Right. And hit that. Just hit a that. Kill, just a little up, down, up, down. Just a hit that. But no, no, at this down, point, then you got to go back in the shower. Cause you done missed the point in no return. Oh, yeah. Right. Cause at some point, if you've been too long, then you're it's, like, it's I can't separation stop. Church and state. There's, yeah. There's no, yeah. There's, you can't fight back through that. That's a layer of that thing. They built the wall. They built the wall. They built the wall there. You got to knock that out. You got to start it over. Right. I know you in the summer, but you can't. Hey, you now, that's 14. Yeah. Hey, Amen. That's 14. You was a baby that would have. That's that 14 now. Come on. He didn't want more gear. You got a bathroom right over there. Keep Run it in it the back. backpack. Just keep like, it in the backpack. Even Monty was like, whoo, you know, my nose is strong. I got to get up out of here. Got to see a man about a mule. Got to see a man about a mule. <laughs> All right. Well, we love y'all. Uh, Patreon supporters, I want to thank you personally always for supporting us. Not only do you pay the salaries of the people in this room, Amen. the yes. other people in this room, uh, you keep the lights on in here. You pay the comedians who are in our universe. You get flights, hotels. We're able to create content to give back to you. Um, so I never... I want to be more conscious about thank you guys more openly because you guys are the genesis of a lot of things. Uh, also, Patreon, we're about to do the bonus right now. Yeah. Whole nother docket full of other stuff. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. That now, raw. The, the other stuff that people wanted to talk about is in that docket. Mm -hmm. the, uh, that parent who um, was going to adopt a kid, but then she found out you can't... Uh, you can't video take them, take pictures, and she turned them back in. She said, if I can't show this up, why am I, why am I doing What's this? What's all this for? If I can't scoop them. <laughs> uh, Derek Jackson's wife selling a healing class oh. for 5000 5, Uh Chica went on an airport rant. That oh, was crazy. We're going to talk about that. I wanted to make sure both episodes was full of great topics. Uh, so pull up to us. Give us a little minute to send a new link out. And we'll see y'all again. Once again, quick reminder, starting this week, Angel and I are doing stuff. Taking my kids on an HBCU tour over the next two weeks. Angel's got ABFF. Mm -hmm. So there might be times over this summer where we can only do one main episode. And that will likely, the main episode if we can only do one will be on the Patreon. The regular, here's the thing, we'll get an old bonus episode. Either evergreen or just old, because we got to fulfill those ads. So if we only come to doing one, that main one go go to the bonus. It's summer hours, summertime, summer and that covers. All right, we love y'all. God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you in at the conference. Yeah, thank you. Right. There's Here's another one. Yeah. Here's another one. Yeah. Here's another bang of fire. Yeah. Fire. Oh, oh, oh. Here's another bang of fire. Yeah. Oh. With my boy Kevin yeah. Stay. And that chick angel.